we need. Oh. So we live in our houses a lot more than uh, the average American, right? We are in our houses a lot, which means our house gets messier. Um, also from eating, right? We eat three times a day at the house plus snacks. So, you know, second breakfast, all that cleanliness. So you just need to have a plan. So uh, whenever I would tell my students, my children um, come and help, then not only is that helping me to not feel like a maid, frankly, but also is training them, right? In home ec, it gets done faster, not better. It was never done better, but it was done faster. And um, they weren't off making another mess somewhere. So whenever you are trying to get your house clean on a daily basis, please, please, please involve those children. Even if it's to sit under the table and, and just squish around on a towel. So I, that's how I mopped for the first, I don't know, 10 years of my children's lives. I didn't even own a mop. We just got wet towels and, um, you know, put a little detergent down there and they would just squish around on their knees and then I would rinse it off and then they would come back with dry towels and do that. And so, yeah, I had one load that was just towels of, for the laundry, but it got mopped every week because I wasn't worried about them running in with their muddy feet while I was mopping because they were there mopping and they enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too, but they knew it was work. And so they were more typical, more typically going to watch out and not make as big a mess. Um, same with laundry. When they're folding their own clothes, they're not doing the thing where they look at it and then put it right into the dirty clothes. I, I did that when I was a child. I was horrible. Sorry, mom. But um, my kids, they're the ones that had to fold it. And so they didn't do that as often. Um, what other things? Uh, dishes, you know, they, they tend to use the same cup again and again and again, instead of just putting it in the sink whenever they're the ones that have to unload the dishwasher. And so we had plastic cups only for a while. So you have to make plans, right? You have to recognize I'm raising a big family or not but I'm raising a family that I'm around all the time. So you need to adjust for that and not expect it to keep going the way it is. It's like, you know, if your child has some sort of malady or some sort of disability, you make plans for it. You don't say, oh, well, everybody else gets to do it this way. Therefore you should too. No, you go, wow, my child's different. I need to adjust for that and make a plan. I need to have an expectation that is equal to what we're doing. Homeschooling is different. You're not going to have the same type of lifestyle and the same home processes that you did before, before you were homeschoolers. It's going to change. So what's your plan? Whatever it is, if it's, I'm going to do laundry on Mondays and floors on Tuesdays and, you know, in between science and math, I'm going to uh, get the windows done. That's fine. But the biggest thing is think about it. Otherwise, if you don't think about it, it's not going to get done. And it's going to be this thing that annoys you and, and interferes with you. And frankly, having a clean house, having an organized house is going to benefit your children and their education as well. And it makes you happier. And so, so it's all, it's all involved. It's a lifestyle of learning. All right. I think I've been too long winded. So I'm going to edit these down and I'll see y'all over on how to overcome obstacles for the leadership summit.